Hey you guys, it's Mrs. MacPhail. This is your learning objective for the day. I can use decimals when I measure in the metric system. I can change centimeters to meters. So by the end of the video, you should be able to do both of those things and feel pretty comfortable with it too. Let's take a look at some vocab that we're going to need today. Sometimes we use the metric system to measure. And the metric system involves measurements that are taken or made in centimeters millimeters, meters, and some other units too, but these are the ones you're going to see frequently today. These are abbreviations. So maybe I would measure a pen and I could say the pen is 10 centimeters long. Some other words you might come across today. A decimeter, or you can abbreviate it DM. A decimeter is equal to one-tenth of a meter, or we can say that 10 decimeters are equal to one meter. And did you know that deci actually means one-tenth? So deci meter meaning one-tenth of a meter. A centimeter, 100 centimeters is what you'll find in a meter, or one centimeter is equal to one one-hundredth of a meter. And ah, centi means one-hundredth. So centimeter, meaning one hundredth of a meter. Finally, millimeter. One thousand millimeters is what you will find in one meter. That's a lot. Or one millimeter is equal to one one thousandth of a meter. Do you hear me saying the thousandth, hundredth, tenth? Okay, we're working with decimals. Milli means one thousandth. So millimeter, meaning one thousandth of a meter. I always think of like a centipede, or I should say a, milli, uh, a millipede, sorry, when I, when I see the word millimeter because they have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of legs. So decimeter, centimeter, millimeter, these are all words that we use in the metric uh, system of measurements. If you think back to decimals, you know that a tenth we read as one-tenth or in the fraction form or one-tenth in decimal form. Hundredths you'll see written as the fraction one over one hundred or you can say it one one hundredth. That's how you would say that. Thousandth, meaning one over one thousand, or you can read it one one thousandth. At least that number you would read one one thousandth. All right, let's get started. You remember that in some lessons before, we have talked about our flat block here, or our hamburger, as Mrs. MacPhail likes to call it, meaning that there are one hundred ones in it. All right? You also know that there are, woo, flying fries. We have 10 longs. Mrs. MacPhail sometimes calls these fries, and sometimes I call these ice cubes, okay? If there's 100 ones in here, we can say that one of these ice cubes is one 100th, okay? Or one one hundredth. We can also say that if we have one long or one french fry, that would be one tenth, because there's ten of them that go in here, or you can also say one tenth, or you can write it that way, one tenth. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at how this applies to our meter stick you can actually think of this block as a meter stick, and we'll show you how. Let's see how we can use longs and little blocks to measure using a meter ruler. So here I have my beautiful, lovely meter ruler, which is equal to 100 centimeters on the far right side here. And if you remember, we have each of our longs, and each of these are equal to 10 little blocks or little ice cubes, okay? So if I set these on our meter stick here, one, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, ten. Huh, very interesting. So it takes ten of my longs. To get to 100 centimeters. So one long 
is equal to one tenth of a meter. Okay, so each of these longs is equal to one tenth in fraction form or decimal form, one tenth of a meter. Now I can also put my blocks on here. And if I had a hundred of these, you would see that it takes 100 blocks or ones to get to 100 centimeters. So one block is equal to one one hundredth or in decimal form. Let's review. Doo -doo -doo. How many longs are in one meter? Remember these? We laid them out all the way down to 100. There turned out to be 10 of them. 10 longs are in one meter. What fraction of a meter is one long? Well, we have 10 of them and we're looking for one. So if 10 was our whole, part of it is just one long. So our answer would be one tenth of a meter is one long. In decimal form, if we say one tenth, we know that we're talking about the tenths place, which comes right after the decimal to the right hand side. How many cubes would be needed to reach the one meter mark? Well, I said that if we had a hundred, we could lay them out all the way down to find that 100 fit in one meter. So we would need 100 cubes. We know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So the fraction of one meter, that's one centimeter, if we have 100 centimeters in the whole meter, and we're only looking for one of them, we have one one hundredth. That's the fraction of one centimeter in a meter. In decimal form, we would say one decimal is equal to one one hundredth of a meter. Pretty cool, huh? Let's say I want to measure the length of my crayon, but I don't really feel comfortable measuring with actual centimeters and decimals yet. So on the bottom of my ruler here, thank you everyday math, comes my centimeters. And this one goes up to 15 centimeters. I'm going to lay my crayon so that the edge lines up with the beginning mark. Okay. And you can see the tip of my crayon just passes the nine centimeter mark. I'm going to practice with blocks. One centimeter, two centimeters. So my crayon, I'm up to six ones, or six blocks, seven blocks, eight blocks, nine blocks. That's about the length of my crayon. So I remember that each of my blocks is equal to one one hundredth of a meter. So one one hundredth, two one hundredth, three one hundredths, four one hundredths, five one hundredths, six one hundredths, seven one hundredths, eight one hundredths, nine one hundredths. So I measured nine blocks, meaning that that would be nine one hundredths of a meter. I could also do this on my worksheet to help me too. I know that in 36 centimeters, hmm, that's pretty long. I have three tens and six blocks. Ah, that means that I need three longs and six cubes. So I remember that each of my longs was equal to a tenth so I would have at least something starting with three tenths and each of my cubes was equal to one one hundredth so I have six hundredths 
So in meters, my measurement would be 36 centimeters would be equal to 36 hundredths.